Right, good morning fishy people. I'm Alan Noyce from Fish on TV. It is Sunday the 4th of February. February. 24. Oh, it's a leap year this year, isn't it? Ah, 29 days in February, don't forget that. Um, right, I'm here at the wonderful Hayfield Lakes for another carp qualifier. I've not been able to make quite a few of them. I've been away uh, on other matches. Um, there's 52 of us. The way that it works is there's a qualifier from Island Lake, a qualifier from Adams, the two Adams added together. There are some that have already qualified, but the numbers this year, there's at least, I don't know, there's got to be, I bet there's 70 this year. So there's, I can't remember how many qualifiers there is, there'll be at least. I would expect there'd be at least 45 or 50 to get through to final, so... It's been Peggy. When, I, when I've been here, it's been really Peggy. Not had a chance. There's been guys packing up around me. I've just not been in the right area whatsoever. We need, we need a bit of a chance. I wouldn't mind being on Adams again. If I'm on Island, I wouldn't mind being up in... Uh, mind you, it's a bit milder today, I don't know. <laughs> when it's really cold, you want to be on Peg 60. You have a damn good chance there. Um, I drew Peg 9 about four weeks ago and it was it was it was awful but recently last couple of matches they've started catching again there so and I know for a fact it's just bomb and pellet and waggler or method that's how they've been catching the water's really clear so where do I want to be I don't I'm not going to say where I really want to be because I, I don't I don't know where this weather it just keeps changing it's either minus four or five Oh, it's 13 or 14 degrees. It's ridiculous. These fish must be thinking, what's going on? It's, it, it's half past eight, it's 10 degrees. And it's been cold, so I, I think we've got a few days of it being warm, and then it goes back to minus next week. They're all over the place, aren't they? There's birds here, they're making nests, they're wrecking them, taking them all apart, they're making nests. <laughs> it's just up and down, it's this weather. And it does affect the fishing. Where these fish are going to be, I don't know. We'll get us peg. And um, we'll just, we'll just see. It's supposed to be raining again. It's supposed to be blowing a hoolie again. I can't seem to get a, <coughs> get away from that kind of weather at the minute. But you can only do your best. I'll try and get some, it's like, I mean, unless it's absolutely siling it down, then there'll be no video. But if it's, if it's a bit intermittent, we'll get a video sorted and we'll see how we get on, we'll see how we're going to approach it. I know for a fact that the majority of the people have been catching on bomb and pellet and waggler, and some on method. Andy Kinder were telling me, he says, couldn't get a bite on method and caught everything on bomb. The week after, he couldn't get a bite on bomb or waggler and caught everything on method. It's just, it's just how it is at the minute. It's, it's dead simple and hardly anybody uses a pole at the minute because it's that clear is the water. But I like using pole at this time of year and it's been that windy. I mean, last time I was here, it was 50, 60 mile an hour winds. So, no chance of using a pole. But we'll see today where we get drawn. And we'll see how we get on today. There's 52 of us. Um, and you've got to win your lake. So, if you split that between the two lakes, you've, well, will there be 26 on each, each lake? And you've just got to win the lake to get qualified. If you win the lake, definitely qualified aren't you so get in if somebody else wins it and they're already qualified then it's the next person that goes through so there is a slim chance right see you at the draw
left after this. So, all you guys that want to get your 10 matches in, there is eight left after today. Uh, so, yeah, round 14, 52 anglers here today. Uh, paying top four. We said top three last week, but it's like you had money up on. Again, four today, 110, 90, 80, 50 quid, four sections of 30, that's on each leg, that. quarter past 10, quarter past three, start, uh, we'll tell you if you've got scales, scales are out here, we'll get the boards round to you. Here he is, the man of the moment, mighty fisherman. Right, as you've probably seen, it's 70 on Adams. The light's a little bit low in there, and at that sort of distance, I didn't put my specs on. I thought it was 70 Island, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> but it's actually 70 on Adams. I'm not unhappy with that. That's got a chance, I think. Uh, I'll definitely be setting skimmer rigs up and carp. Cover both options because last time I fished in that area, if I'd have fished for skimmers all day, it was colder than this though, I would have qualified. It was only 30 odd pound, but I think, the, I think you're gonna need, I think today, 80 pound. That's what I think, so we'll see you on the bank. Right, peg 70. Fishing all in, a few minutes late. Um, but I've set like some skimmy rigs up. I've set a waggler up, I've set a method up, I've set a bomb up. So it's just taken a bit longer than, uh, just takes me a while to get all that stuff ready. But uh, I'll show you where we peg 70. I've been on here before, it was no good last time. I think 30 pounds to my left, two or three pegs to my left won it last time with 30 odd pounds. Uh, a bit warmer today, seen no fish topping whatsoever. So we'll, I'll just talk you through what uh, what I'm doing, what my tactics are. Here we go. So I've set a, a short skimmer line up down here. I've got a feeder skimmer line out there. Apparently they've been catching one or two over here. So I've got a bomb line set up there. And I'm going to keep flicking a few pellets out for waggler out there. So, fairly straightforward, baits wise. I've got soft pellets, I've got corn, maggots, pinkies, a bit of ground bait. I've got micros under there, and just my little bait up there. Um, oh, I've got my timer on. Um, and that's pretty much a few wafters. And that is pretty much it. So, I'm going to get my camera set up while this is in. Um, I've seen Cookie. He's just set a bomb and a method up as Cookie, he's already qualified. He's had one on an end peg over there, on the other side. I think there's two fish being caught all together on, yeah, there's somebody got a decent carp next to Cookie. So there's one or two fish over there at the minute. That, where the aerator is normally quite good, which is where Dale is on his waggler. He's not had any indications yet. We'll see how it goes. So the bait, I've baited up, let them skimmer line settle. Um, if there's nothing going, if I start catching carp, I won't touch the skimmer lines. I'll just stick with carp, but um, you never know. If it's a tough day, skimmers might come into it. There we go. Let me get the camera ready and uh, we'll get stuck into the match. Get in. Well, I've no bites whatsoever. I managed to walk into a uh, skimmer early doors. I've had two perch. And I've gone back on this line, my skimmer line here. I think I've hooked into a carp. Me thinks. Could be wrong. I've got the light gear on. And Brian's been fishing for skimmers because we haven't been catching out on this side. Uh, we could be struggling to get this in because it's only a light gear I've got.
Right gear, let a look. <laughs> I've not, not had a sign on. Oh, I lost a, a small gap early doors on Bomber. I never had a sign an hour or so after that. Nothing on Method. He's been on Waggler for God knows how long and not had a sign. I think he had one little indication, he said. So I'm hoping to see if we can sneak this in and try and get landing it under it before he knows it's where it is. Just about got him in then. Oh, just wouldn't lift his head up. Gently does it, folks. Gently does it. We've got him. We've got him. Get him. Yeah. Come on, the caps on skimming here. right out of the blue only been in a minute and it just flew round right there we go so he's about seven pound <laughs> let's get in get another Oops. that cast out got a perch this has been in like 15 seconds went straight round it looks like some fish have turned up there's been nothing there all day. This is a skimmer. <laughs> three and three. <laughs> That's had a bite all day. I know they were missing so much. <laughs> Andy Sellers. Three and three chucks. <laughs> I've not had a bite all day, it's mad. See if it goes again. He's laughing at me, his sellers. Skimmer fishing. You get a few carp as well, don't you? 
Now there's some fish there now, and that, that tip's not moved all day. There's definitely some fish there, because I just had a slight little liner then. I'm hoping that might go while you're on, but obviously not. <laughs> yeah, he's asked, he's asked me if I just realised I'd not been putting bait on hook. <laughs> Another little liner. That looks like a small fish, I think. Right. A bit of corn. Oh, that's a nice bite. I'm just about to put some corn out. A proper bream bite, that. Oh dear. Yeah. I've not been getting bites. Well, I'm the same as you, not been getting bites, have we? I'd have caught these all day if. Uh... I'm going to keep feeding that corn and pellet line down there and hope, hope see if we can get some cart later on, but I'm running out of time. We finish at quarter past three, it's half one, but you never know. Oh, can happen. Cookie's been catching well on end peg chucking to the corner. This feels like a decent skimmer to me. Well, I hope it is anyway. Oh, it's wrapped round its fin. It's wrapped round it, it's bloody thin that. It is in the mouth. <laughs> I'd take them all day. So there you go. That's what I'm doing now. <laughs> There's been no action whatsoever. And I've probably put Eleven pound in it last five minutes. Oh. I've had a, a fisher chuck in the last twenty minutes, twenty-five minutes. Uh, they weren't all bream. I've had about six or seven perch. Oh, that's coming a bit closer than I thought. There we go. Let me just get that off. Um, It's unreal. I've not had an indication on any lines in the last 25 minutes. It's solid with fish, especially on that line. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> Andy Sellers are still giving me some grief, but he don't know how hard it's been here. <laughs> we had time. None of us have had a bite. Dale, it's hard, isn't it? He's not had a fish yet. So it ain't just me. <laughs> it has been tough. But I'm right enjoying this, just catching a few fish now. Every cast. Can't beat it. But I just wish there were carp. But I've, I've give it a good go for carp, and I've not had anything. I mean, I, I know us. I suppose if you stick it out, you might drop on, but then you could be blanking like dailies. <coughs> and Andy Sellers is catching, he's catching well. Let's see if it goes again. It's, it's going, it's going around after about two minutes. See if it goes again, eh? Well, that, didn't, that didn't take two minutes, did it? Didn't know whether it was me just tightening the line up. That's a perch. I think. Put me one in my mouth, I think that's a perch. No oh, wipe. You don't know when we get perch out there. Yes. 
<coughs> the perch I've had, they've been four times size out. They've been worth catching. Been, I've had to land them. They've been good perch. But yeah, the carp as well on a single magnet. You can't believe it, can you? I'm putting pellets and ground bait through and I'm still catching perch. <laughs> putting the odd pinky in. Squeezing it quite tight because it's it's quite deep out there, it's probably 12 or 13 foot. And there we go. I'm gonna have a look on this short line, see if we can get a few there on pole. I need I'm hoping to get some carp from down there. Sunk now. From to my right here. I need I need half a dozen or so. Can I get them? I don't know. It's just never felt like many carp's been feeding it all around here. Cookie's probably winning lake. Apparently it's difficult on the other one. I think there's the odd peg. Straight round. Be nice like this at Allcroft, wouldn't it? <laughs> this is another perch, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's on the limit. It's on the limit. <laughs> I won't call it a pound. There we go. Over oh, really? it. Um, miss, folks. Uh, I've had a few more perch, few little skimmers. This is the first decent fish I've had in a while. I've had another look for carp on my bomb line, but nothing. I've been feeding it all day. Not a line, I know. Nothing to, to my right there. Probably one line I should have maybe give a go out there was maybe the waggler. But Dale at the side of me has had the thing that put me off that is had two hours on never had a never had a bite. So I just thought that was the point. Maybe that's a mistake, I don't know, because I have got the wind behind. It might have been an idea to have a look. Just I don't know, just just a feeling, I just never, it never, watching him, and he looked like he were doing it well enough, but and that's a good spot near that aerator, I think you might have seen it on previous videos, if you're going to get him, you're going to get him around that aerator on Waggler, and he never had a, he said he had one little touch, go with this. See if we can get another one. Oh, that would have been a rubbish on. <laughs> right. So we've got about 20 minutes left. Um, unless I can do something different, we'll probably not got a lot of weight. I haven't even been pulling them down. God knows what I've got. Not a lot. Might. I might be somewhere near 20. We'll see. Might not be that even. Don't know what them perch weighed. So. But I think Steve Cook's definitely done the best on this lake. Right, see you guys at the way. I thought I was going to be biteless on that corn and bomb line, but it's gone round with about four minutes to go. <laughs> I tried it, kept trying it all day, nothing. And then it's just gone. Dale's just had a carp and all outside of me. Sellers is into one, he's had it on for about half an hour, he's playing to the crowd. He likes playing to the crowd as Andy, bless him.
Come on, son, get your head out. We don't want to come in yet. He's off again. Squeezed him in <laughs> to <laughs> shuffle him round. <laughs> there we go, folks. Right, we'll see you guys at the wing. in um <laughs> it certainly was a day of two hours or well, more more than two hours it was two thirds and a third i have caught plenty of fish in the end not the, not the size that i wanted you saw me i've, I've got i've got a bit of everything set up really because i wasn't right sure what to expect with this change of weather i was hoping it'd be just a bomb and waggler but down at the side of me, uh, Dale at the side of me, he's persevered at Waggler for two hours or so. Never had a bite, so I never picked Waggler rod up. Was it a mistake? Were the fish in front of me? Don't know. It's just a feeling. I just, I, I just never fancied picking it up. There were no liners. I never felt like there were a lot of fish moving about. I, on it liners I got were skimmer liners. I never had a carp liner. Um, I think I saw one carp all day show its face normally normally you can see them showing the faces which is an indication they're up in water they're shoaled up somewhere and not moving a lot um so i've set a bit of skimmer gear up and the skimmers have not really wanted it don't get me wrong i've had a, f a fair few silvers probably about 12 pound or so um and I've not spent all day fishing for them. I've really tried to catch carp, but it just wasn't happening. Um, I got my first bite off a of silver in the end. Oh no, sorry, my second bite because I bumped a small carp off it. It felt F1-ish, uh, Carasio-ish, I don't know. It certainly wasn't a big one. Bumped that off and that was on the first cast, but went back there and sat it out for an hour in that area thinking, if there's one, there's gonna be a few more. I never had another sign. No liners, no nothing. Down there I've been putting pellets and a few pieces of corn. Um, I've been putting a few, one or two pellets out straight in front of me with the intention of trying uh, the waggler. Um, but after I saw, like I say, after I saw Dale not catch anything, I didn't bother. I've tried the bomb out there, I've tried the method out there. I've tried the bomb method on the one that I was baiting quite positively, nothing until the end. The short line bumped a few skimmers off. Well, I'm not sure I bumped them. I'm not. Sure. They didn't feel right when I hooked them. They felt. Like, I don't know whether I foul hooked them or not. They just didn't feel right. Um, and that short line normally, if, if them skimmers are having it, you can have a right day. A really good day for skimmers. Um, and that never really produced. I had a couple of little perch, and then I had my first proper bite off a carp on the. Uh, skimmer gear, I don't know, seven pound ish. And then I've had some skimmers, I've had a bite of chuck, I've had a load of perch, 
a few more skimmers around about the sort of pound and a half up to two and a half maybe something like that and then it stopped and then I've had a few more a little bit later on and then it stopped it, it's been a weird very strange day Dale's had three carp in the last hour 45 minutes even he, he, he thought you were going to blank and then last 10 minutes I thought well I've got to have a look for a carp on those and I just thought last, last 10 or 15 minutes and then eventually after about 8 or 9 or 10 minutes I can't remember exactly what it was I think it was 8 minutes 50 or something it's gone straight round and I've hooked into another cat round about the six pound mark ish it's hard to tell uh, and that was the end of that I've ended up weighing 24 pound 12 which I thought well I thought we'd really struggled but <laughs> Andy Sellers who I thought I got quite a few more had 31 pound a foul up one at the end I think he's won our section and then there's been a 25 pound a 24 pound 12 a 22 pound and a 19 pound six with the bunch of lads that were around me so quite close section that one so I've not disgraced myself at all it has just fished particularly difficult apparently it's fished really difficult on the other one as well I don't know who's caught and who's done what I know Cook is probably one hour half of the lake he was doing quite well so Steve Cook so I'm, um, I'm assuming that he's probably one I think he had about seven or eight carp so that's got to be a winning weight. So well, well done, Cookie. Right, so yeah, tried to keep it as simple as I could. Had a few little different bits and bobs set up just in case something wasn't working. Pretty much everything's not really worked today. It's, couldn't really get into a rhythm. I had a good 45 minutes getting plenty of bites, silvers, fuel bream, and a carp. And enjoyed that little part of the day, but. Again, it was just like, why can't we get a bite? It wasn't just me, it was everybody around us. We, we were really struggling to get bites. But again, we've ended up with a few fish. Thoroughly enjoyed the time whilst I was catching. It's not been particularly cold. It's 13 degrees now. You'd think they'd be having a right munch, but they weren't. Everybody's, even the guys weighing in have been moaning that they couldn't get any fish. So it's just been a difficult day, folks, but enjoyable as always. So I hope you've enjoyed the insights to a little bash on Adam's Peg 70 again. I've done a little bit better, but not much better. Pretty much identical match to the last one. I'm struggling to get fish on the method here. I just think it's a bit too deep. I don't, I don't know what it is. Wagglers seems to be the way, but he never had a bite, so I didn't bother myself. Might have been a mistake. Who knows? <laughs> so there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget, it is absolutely free to subscribe to this channel. If you click that notification bell, you will get all our videos as we upload them. And a thumbs up would be very, very nice. So, the next one for me is the bomb and feeder at Lindome Lakes. I have missed a few on there. I'm quite down the league a little bit. I think there's, a, there's either four or five more rounds. Eight to count, so we'll see where we end up when I've got all my eight best weights. No chance of catching the leaders. They've had some big weights early doors, 140 pounds, stuff like that. We're not catching that now. It's anything from 10 to 70 pounds is the sort of weights that they're catching. So no chance of catching the leaders. I look forward to that on Tuesday. So I'll see you guys at Lindome Lakes on Tuesday for the uh, Bomb and Feeder League. So thanks for watching and don't forget to fish on. And we'll see you at Lindome Lakes.